Hey guys, it's Nitin here with PPC Domain Hound. Now this little tool is going to save you a bunch of time um, when you're trying to find domains that are related to your keywords. So exactly how this works, we're going to go through a very quick demonstration. Um, let's say for example, um, you want to promote a tattoo product on say Clickbank. So the first thing you'd probably do is go to the trusted Google keyword tool, which is a free tool. And you would basically search for uh, tattoos and do get keyword ideas. And what it does is actually returns a whole bunch of keywords which are related to tattoos. Now, just to keep things really short and sweet, I've already taken these keywords. Obviously, you wouldn't take them all. You'd go through each one and just pick the ones that you'd really need. And what I've done is I've put them into a, a text pad, like you see here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do Control A, Control C to copy these keywords into my clipboard. Then come back to my software tool and then uh, type in Control V to paste the keywords into the keywords text area. So it tells me here that I've got 50 keywords. Now, first of all, let me just uncheck this and I'll come back to the prefix and postfix keywords in a second. Um, what this is going to do is it's going to take this first keyword, which is called tattoo designs. It's going to get rid of the space in between and it's going to look for tattoo designs dot com. Uh, and see if it's available. So let me just demonstrate that. Let's start the process off. Okay, now this little guy should be actually running, but because I'm using Camtasia to do the recording, somehow I think my system memory is probably running a little low. So this little guy is not running, which is a which is a bit of a shame because he's quite cute. And and the reason I've got this guy running is that if you come back to the interface, at least you'll know that the process is still running. And it's a little guy, it's a little hound dog that basically runs on the spot. And it's just an animated GIF file. So um, it's going to run through all these um, um, keywords. And as you can see, it hasn't found any yet because I think most of these keywords are taken. So I'm going to stop this here. Okay, and I'm going to type, I'm going to check the prefix keyword. Now what's going to happen is it's going to take this prefix keyword, it's going to prefix it to the keyword here and see if this, this domain is available. So for example, it's going to look for online tattoo designs .com. Okay, so let's try that. Let's click the start. And straight away, it looks like it's found online tattoo designs. Online tattoo.com is available too. So it's going to go through this whole list for dot com, then dot info, and then dot net. So let me stop this once again and let's look at postfix. Well, the idea is the same you can prefix the keywords and you can also postfix the keywords. So, for example, if I check online and tips, then it's going to go through. Um, and interrogate online tattoo designs tips.com etc etc so let's run that and see what happens so here we've got online tattoo design tips.com is available and then online tattoo tips.com is available etc etc so basically what you can do is you can set this up and then just walk away and you can probably run it overnight and then in the morning uh, when you come back, you'll see a whole bunch of available domains, so you can take your pick from those domains. And that's basically it. That's all you have to do. I mean, it's going to save you a ton of time because each one, each one of these combinations, you're going to have to go to some uh, service like register.com or Namecheap or GoDaddy, type in the, uh, the domain that you want to search for, and then you have to physically and manually do this process and um, as you can see, it will probably take you a very long time to do. So this pro this product basically automates all that hard work. Now let me stop this 
and I want to take you through some of the uh, preferences that we have so we uh, click on edit and then preference and then you see the preference dialog box so over here we see that we've got a whole bunch of top level domains that you can choose from and um, by default I've chosen the .com .info .net top level domains so you can choose more you know if you want to um, another thing is the prefix and the postfix so you can basically add more prefixes as you want and you can even remove them and same with the postfix um, this ping server interval is really important um, this is basically um, pinging uh, all these domain servers and um, I recommend that you leave this at five seconds because um, if you ping them too many times uh, then what will happen is they may um, not like it <laughs> uh, I've never had any problems I've been using this tool for the past a few months about it just leave it at five seconds if you're in a hurry you can put it to three seconds but I recommend five seconds is a good thing now if you're behind a firewall all you have to do is basically supply your proxy server here and your port and click enable proxy that way will uh, uh, the proxy will kick in and then you're good to go once you're done you click save and uh, and that's it so basically that's the tool and here we've got the usual you know open save save as an exit so that is the tool ppc domain hound and as you can see it's really easy to use but it's really really powerful and um, you know give it a go thanks for watching